In this video, we're going to learn all about allocating inventory in BrightPearl. So what is inventory allocation? Allocating inventory to a sale reserves it for that customer, which means you can't sell it to anybody else. So let's take a typical workflow. First of all, a sales order is placed by a customer. Next, any available inventory is allocated to that sales order, and you can do that either manually or automatically. And because the inventory is allocated to that sales order, your on-hand level decreases, your available inventory decreases, which means that any integrated sales channels such as eBay or your e-commerce store is updated immediately. Stock levels have decreased, even though you haven't yet shipped the goods, and that's key. So the next step is you fulfill the sales order, and that's the process of creating a goods outnote or a shipment. This transfers the inventory allocation across to that shipment, which keeps the stock allocated to that customer. If you skip this first step, this is the first point at which inventory becomes allocated when you create the goods out note. Inventory is only finally removed from the warehouse or removed from stock when your goods out note is shipped, so the allocations are cleared and the stock levels are decreased. Why do we need to bother about allocation? Well, first of all, it lets us have a different quantity in stock, which is the asset value or stock take value, than we have available to sell on our sales channels. So the on-hand level is what we have in stock on the shelf, less what we have allocated. So 10 in stock, 2 allocated, 8 on hand. And the on-hand quantity is synchronized with our sales channels. So the second reason is that it allows us to update our other sales channels with on-hand quantity immediately, as soon as inventory is allocated to the sales order. Inventory only leaves the warehouse when you ship it, so the in-stock quantity only decreases when the asset moves out of your own warehouse. And by updating the sales channels using the on-hand quantities, we're much less likely to double sell the same item to more than one customer. So there are two types of allocation. One is to allocate inventory to a sales order directly, and the other one is the presence of a goods hour note or a shipment. And there are a number of different ways to allocate this inventory. You can actually do it from the sales order edit screen. You can do it in bulk from the sales order list. Inventory is allocated automatically on a downloaded e-commerce sale, or you can use the Allocate All Inventory screen. Let's see how we're going to do that in our BrightPearl account. First of all, let's take a look at the product list in BrightPearl to see where we can find out what inventory has been allocated. So we can see we've got this in stock column, we've got an allocated column, and an on hand column. Because we've got zero allocated, the same number is in stock as we have on hand. If I click this number in stock, we can see the inventory quantity, and then in the Allocations tab, we can see that there's no inventory allocated. On the Sales Order Edit screen, we can also see here that there are 10 on hand. I can allocate inventory manually to this sale, either by typing the quantity in here, or clicking the Allocate All button, and then Saving Changes. We can now see that due to the two allocated, we have 8 on hand. And if I go back to the product search for this item, there's two allocated here, which leaves eight on hand. Clicking that two allocated shows me that two have been allocated toward 100,037 for A to C sports. And this is the first type of inventory allocation, just allocating it to a sales order. Next, we're going to fulfill a sales order, which will allocate inventory to it. So here we have a sales order for Carl Smith. Again, no inventory has been allocated. I could allocate if I wanted to, but what I'm going to do is actually going to fulfill and create a goods out note. So I'll click Fulfill and Ship Later, which marks the sale as fulfilled, where we can now see that there are only five on hand. So remember we had eight on hand before. We've now fulfilled three on a different sale, which has allocated the inventory to this particular sales order. Let's go back to a product search where we can see there are only five on hand. So clicking the five allocated shows the allocations tab where we now have a new line for the three allocated to that goods out note. And we can tell it's a goods out note by the slash zero one. So that's the first goods out note for order 100,038. The status of the goods out note here indicates that this has not yet been printed, picked or packed. So this goods out note is open. It's not been processed yet in the warehouse, which is quite useful to know. Because this particular product has variants, different sizes and colors, I've actually got a variants tab. And we can see here the allocation quantity as well. So if there's not enough on hand of this particular variant, we can maybe sell them another one so we can see exactly what's going on. And if we've got multiple warehouses, we can choose that here. So that's how to allocate inventory on a single sales order. 
We can also do the same thing from the sales list. So let's go to recent sales or quotes, where we can select sales and then allocate if we want to. Clicking that button shows me a pop-up window where I can allocate orders or unallocate orders. We can see the allocation status of an order by the little green tick here. So all items have been allocated to both of these sales orders. If I wanted to find all sales orders where inventory has been allocated, we go sales, by allocation status, all allocated. And here we can also see the sales that are part allocated or not allocated. And if an order contains no inventory items, allocation is not required. Once you've allocated inventory to a goods out note, it can't be unallocated until you delete the goods out note. So for this top order that's been fulfilled, to unallocate that would delete the shipment. The second order here, however, has only had inventory allocated to the sales order, which means it can be unallocated. So what I'll do is I'll just tick this bottom sale, click the allocate button and unallocate orders. And you'll see that takes us back to a red icon, which means that this order has not yet been allocated. When you're batch allocating from the sales list, BrightPearl allocates to the top orders first and it works downwards allocating as it goes. So if you want to change the sequence, you can do so by clicking any of these column headers, or you could filter perhaps to allocate your wholesale orders first. And then once you've allocated those, move on to your retail orders. So the final thing I need to show you is how to batch allocate and deallocate all orders at once. So from the products menu, go allocate slash deallocate. And here you've got the option on the left hand side to allocate all available stock and you can prioritize by either order creation date, delivery date or tax date and then ascending or descending, so oldest first or newest first. And then perhaps more useful is the release all allocations button and you'd want to do this before you do a stock CSV import or perhaps you'd want to use this for reallocating inventory at the start of a new season. Don't forget that for sales from integrated sales channels, such as eBay, Amazon or an e-commerce store, any available inventory is allocated automatically to that sale as soon as it's downloaded into BrightPearl. You need to choose your allocation warehouse in the sales channel settings, and you can only allocate inventory to an order from a single warehouse, even if your sales channel inventory is taken from a sum of multiple warehouses. So watch out for that. Generally choose your allocation warehouse as your main mail order shipping warehouse. And that takes us to the end of the Allocating Inventory video.